Hi. I want to show you one small but critical detail in this crucial, terrible, devastating war. I hope this video will be watched by the citizens of European countries and the politicians of the European Union and neighboring countries. Now I want to show the tragic loss resulting from the circumvention of the sanctions imposed on Russia in 2013. This circumvention affected the fate of one person. The pile of cars surrounds me. We collected these cars from the streets of Bucha, Ukraine. These cars were shelled, bombed and destroyed by Russian occupants. In those cars died peaceful Ukrainian civilians who tried to evacuate. This car is remarkable, even though it looks the same as other vehicles. Please pay attention to the passenger seat where are the woman's remains. The explosion blew her head off. Right next to her there are remains of her cat, still here even several weeks later. I hope that other passengers who were children, judging by the toys, maybe the spouse was driving, survived. But I would like to address a different issue. It is clearly visible from the rear that the car was destroyed by small arms, but what is interesting are not holes of 7.62 caliber from a machine gun, but these four holes obtained as a result of a 30 mm cannon hit here which is installed on Russian armored vehicle. It was these shells that blew up the civilians inside. It is interesting how closely and accurately Russian occupants carried out the shooting. Looking at the exit hole from the other side, we can conclude that the Russian army did this not at close range, but from a considerable distance. And I had a question when I first saw this car, which was standing at the entrance of Bucha from Gostomel. How could the old post-Soviet technology with poorly trained Russian soldiers shoot so accurately? I have received the answer in Warsaw, where the Ukrainian army captured BMD-4 vehicles. These vehicles were built and started service in 2015-2016, right after the war in Ukraine started and right after the imposition of sanctions that do not allow the sale of military technology to the aggressor country. By itself, the BMD-4 does not represent anything ultra-modern or perfect. It is just well-redesigned BMD-3. As you can see, here is the same 30mm cannon. But please pay attention to the fire control system, which allows the combat vehicle to shoot accurately, regardless of weather, wind, no matter the day or night. So, the components and technologies for this system were sold to the Russian Federation by the French company Thales. This thermal imaging camera with a non-Russian name Katerin FC allows the gunner to perfectly see his victim from several kilometers, even at night. This military vehicle was assembled at a Russian factory in Vologda under license. According to French drawings from components purchased from France, Russian occupants built the killing machines. This case is just one of many schemes allowing Western companies to bypass the embargo and continue to supply the Russian army of evil with the latest military technologies. Of course, with the participation of the government and their silent agreement. Perhaps without even thinking about what it will all lead to and how many more human lives it will cost. And not only in Ukraine, but in the whole world.